Hello everyone, and on today's stream, a quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create this cool interaction of this before and after for you to apply on your layouts or anything else you want to apply it. This now and then comparison can be pretty cool for your presentations. So let's get right to it. So in this case here, I have the screen with this wireframe version and also the UI final version. And I want to apply these interactions to show them side by side and be able to review either or. So what I'll do is first, to create a frame. Now I'll add my wireframe version here, copy that in, copy the U version in as well. What I'll do is select my artboard here, my frame, by hitting command and clicking on this edge here, I can drag it. And as you can see, it will ignore both the auto layouts and also the constraints applied. So that's something you need to be aware of. Hit the command key before start dragging this. Go to the middle of the screen, release, and do the same, but going through the opposite direction with the wireframe version. Hit command, drag it to the middle, bring them closer to close this gap. And last, I have this bar here that will serve as the grabber for trigger interactions. So I'll copy it, copy it to the frame, make it in the middle. Let me make it a bit bigger. Yeah, so that's the first state, side by side comparison. Now I'll duplicate this frame here. For this one, I'll go all the way to the grabber and then do the same for the high fidelity version. So once again, hitting command, I will drag this all the way to the end, duplicate it once again, the first one. For these, I'll do the opposite. I'll drag the bar to this very left, increase the size of the wireframe one. And as you can see, since the wireframe is below the version of the UI, what I'll do is select the UI version, hitting command once again, and drag it all the way. So now I have these three states, side-by-side -side comparison, full UI, and also full wireframe. Let's set up prototype now. I'll select the bar. Go to the prototype and add an interaction to it, dragging a noodle to the second one. And on the interactions, I'll set it to on drag, navigate to the second one, and that at smart animate. Make sure it's smart animate here. Let's keep it is out and the time is okay. Then I'll add another noodle but connect it to the third one, third frame that we did. Same thing, on drag. And I'll do this for all the bars in all the frames. So let's connect this one, on drag, connect to the other one. On drag, same for this. On drag, another one to the first one. One drag once again. Now let's play the prototype to see how it's looking. So I have the bar here. I can select it and drag it all the way. And as you can see, I have this side by side comparison. I can drag and drop and show the entire transition between one state to the other. If you drag just halfway, it will go back to the first one. But then you can always do this by clicking and dragging without drop the click. If you want to, you can always delete the side-by-side -side version and use only the two versions. Go all the way from the one to the other. I just like having a side-by-side comparison. But if you don't, you can just delete this and prototype. It works almost the same, but now we won't be able to have the bar stopping in the middle. It will just go all the way. And yeah, so this is it for this film, a quick tip. I really hope it helps you with your presentations or showing these comparisons. And once again, if you have any questions or any suggestions or tips for me, please put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, share with your designer folks, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.